Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 27. And today we're just going to be doing drawing a circle in two-dimensional space. So basically, we're just going to draw a circle, and we're going to talk briefly about the parametric equation for a circle, um, but I won't be diving into all the maths behind it. So this is kind of an interim episode, just to say, because we've been drawing stuff and we're going around. I kind of uh, skipped over this one before on accident, so that's why we're going to cover it today. So we can get back on, on schedule uh, starting tomorrow, I believe. So most of this is all the same as you've been seeing before. We're initializing the size, though, to keep a smaller area. And we're using the resizer function in order to draw, ultimately, our, uh, our viewport here. So draw basically is going to init buffers and do all the normal checks, etc. that we have. Uh, we're going to clear, and well, as well, we're going to use triangle strips. And the buffers is just going to end up building out the vertices for our vertex shader. So init buffer does the standard kind of ordeal. However, what we're going to do is here, we're, we're going to dynamically build out the triangles uh, that we're using in the triangle strips here that end up building on top of each other all the way around uh, so, such that it makes a circle. So we have vert count of two. Uh, what we're going to end up using uh, down here for our vertex attribute pointer. You can see I've commented out the third vertices because we're in two-dimensional space right now. But if we were to go ahead and change this to three and uncomment these, we would end up with the exact same thing. So I'll show that off in a moment. So what we're doing is here is we are going to go ahead and start at zero and go to 360 degrees, uh, adding one. So we're doing one degree at a time all the way around. And we're going to take the uh, value of that with uh, times pi over 180. And then we're going to go take the math uh, for the x value. We're going to take sine of this value. And then we're going to take cosine of that value for the y value. And that's basically what the parametric equation says is uh, the radius times sine uh, of the value. And then the next is the radius times the cosine of said value. For vert2, vert this is the inside of the circle. Because we're using triangle strips, you have to remember we're, we're going to be having a bunch of triangles that meet in the center over and over again. So we're adding both the first vertices for the outer radius uh, portion of the circle and then the inside of the circle with every vert2. So we can go ahead and uh, look at it real quick. So you can see there's the circle. And we made the resizer function function in such a way that it changes so that we always have that full circle. Now keep in mind that this goes from one, uh, a negative one to one space within WebGL. So if you added a, a, a bigger radius here, it's going to actually go outside of the uh, area. So you might need to do some changes there in terms of how you want to uh, make your uh, WebGL space. If we wanted to change this up and not have uh, the particular vertice here uh, be in the center, we could make a donut as well. So we can multiply any of these values uh, by something that's less than one, and it'll ultimately end up being a donut. So it's kind of fun to play with too. So you can re uh, see this is halfway in between the two. So we're taking 0.5 times this. So now we have this nice little donut shape. And that's basically it for this episode. Uh, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Go ahead and like the video, share it on social media if you want to, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great day.